It's time for lesson five, and today we are rounding whole numbers. And honestly, I feel like this will probably just be a review for you, so we should be able to get through it pretty quickly. Um, when we add whole numbers, it might be necessary to re- Group. And so that's what we're kind of focusing on today is regrouping. Um, but I bet you guys already know how to do this. All right, let's just get right into it. Example one. Now, let me talk about this first. This lesson, we're not rounding. I know the last lesson we rounded and they, they kind of got you into that. But now we are adding for real to find the exact answer, not a rounded answer. Okay. All right, there were 6,824 baseball tickets sold last week. This week, there were 349 baseball tickets sold. How many tickets were sold all together? So that means we're going to add, okay? Now, they have color-coded the steps, okay? So if you can pay attention here, orange goes to orange, green to green, purple-ish to purple, and the yellow to the yellow, okay? So the, the color-coded steps go with this problem over here. So my first step is to add the ones. They say four plus nine is 13. They, they went ahead and told us. So I'm gonna regroup 13 as 110. I'm gonna put the 10 up here and three ones is gonna go down here, okay? I think you already know that, but if you don't, there's a review, okay? Second part, I'm gonna add the 10. So now I'm gonna add this one plus this two plus this four, and I'm going to get seven. That's gonna go down here. Nothing to regroup, okay? Then I'm gonna add the hundreds. I'm gonna add eight plus three, which is 11. I'm gonna regroup that, uh, the one from the 11 up here and put the one that's in the ones place of it down here. Then I have to add one plus six and I get seven. So, 7,173 tickets were sold all together. Let me move up. You can't see everything. Okay. It says check for reasonableness. So, here is a reason why we would be doing those uh, estimations. We're going to estimate, okay? Um, so I'm going to estimate 6,824 and they didn't tell me which place value to round to. So I'm going to round to the largest place value like I told you in the last lesson. So um, 6,824 um, to the largest place value, that eight would tell my six to go up one. So it would be like 7,000. Um, and then three um, 149, the four would tell my three to stay. So I'd have 7,000 plus 3,000. I'd get an answer of 7,300. That's close-ish to this answer. So it's a pretty reasonable um, answer. So 7,300 is close-ish to that number. So it's a pretty reasonable answer. Could I have made maybe a um, mistake in there? Of course, but at least it's close, okay? So since... 7,173 is close to the answer. The answer is reasonable. I know that it's cutting you off right here, but I'm afraid to touch my little setup because I'm afraid my phone will fall again like it did in the lesson a couple days ago. So hopefully you heard me say that. Um, if only you guys could see the setup that I have <laughs> to do my videoing on, you would understand why I can't move anything because it is very... It's a very crazy setup. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'll flip the camera up and show you how I do this. Um, I'll do it at the end of the lesson if I remember. Okay, moving along to finish up this lesson. Okay, example two. Um, ticket sales for a play are shown in the table. What were the total sales? Total tells me I want to add, okay? Oh, I better move my book back down now. Okay. Um, total tells me that I want to add. So my estimate, they say that 58,713 rounds to 60,000. That makes sense. And that 43,827 rounds to 40,000. That makes sense. And they're saying that my answer is going to be near $100,000. Okay. So we're going to just go through the steps. I'm going to add my ones. Three plus seven is 10. I'm going to keep my zero from 10 up here and carry or regroup the one, okay? Now I'm going to say one plus one plus two is four, so there's nothing to regroup. Then I'm going to say seven plus eight is 15, 
So I write the number in the ones place down here and I regroup the number in the tens place up there, okay? One plus eight plus three is 12. I put the number in the ones place in the answer and I regroup the number in the tens place. One plus five plus four is 10. So I can just write it like that or I could have brought it up here and then brought it down. Either way works, okay? So, um, I can sort of check for reasonableness. Is 102,540 close-ish to 100,000? Yes, it's pretty close. So the total ticket sales were $102,540, okay? So let's just go on down and add up some more. Um, I wish that I could get my page moved up there a little bit. I think my phone. Maybe, can you see now? I think you can. Okay, so now I'm just going to add these two problems up and we'll just go through those together. One plus five is six, there is nothing to regroup. Six plus zero is six, there's nothing to regroup. Nine plus two is 11, so I put the one from the ones place down here and the one from the tens place up here. One plus two is three, plus four is seven, so 2,961 plus 4,205 is 7,166. Now, what I wanna do is check for reasonableness and see if my estimated answer is close to my actual answer. So um, if I estimate, I'm going to say this nine tells this two to be a three, so that would be about 3,000. This two tells this four to stay, so that would be about 4,000. So if I add 3,000 plus 4,000, I would get 7,000. 7,000 is pretty 